Hi, this is a DIY PID controller. I designed the controller for making a DIY incubator and I designed the PCB and I even made the whole project and worked just fine for me. There are several basic components that you need to use. Some regulators, uh, Arduino Uno, and uh, LCD, two rows, uh, character display, um, router encoder with a switch, temperature sensor, some MOSFETs, a fan and heating elements and you need a flash memory to save the configuration you make one optocoupler and the heating element that I made it from several resistors uh, connected in parallel the idea is to use the MOSFET the N MOSFET N channel MOSFET in the high side but to do that you have to be careful to not burn your MOSFET since the MOSFET the R on resistor will be losses and that will generate too much heat looking at the datasheet you must know where you will run the MOSFET in the linear part of the graphs um, there are several ways to do that some uses a uh, uh, bootstrap but actually the bootstrap since it doesn't provide you so much current uh, I couldn't get it working so well so because of that I decided to use other, uh, other solution so starting from the beginning you need a good power supply a 12 power supply and that 12 power supply will be used for uh, powering the whole thing you need the 5 volt regulator to power the Arduino and the other safety that Arduino needs the LCD and other parts and you need the 12 to 24 or uh, actually the MT360B is a boost converter that you can decide uh, using the potential and how much voltage you get at the output and for us it's double as much as the 12 volt which is 24 volt uh, the Arduino and the LCD is just a basic it's easy to to figure out how you connect them together the same for the rotary, con uh, rotary encoder with a debouncing there are so many libraries that you can use in, in my design I used both through hole and SMD components but one of them will not be uh, applied when you design, when you mount your components, so I made it like that that you you have several choices to make your your board and your components mounted. So uh, the same for the resistors, I, I made it like uh, through hole or SMD. So maybe you have that component or the other one, but you have to be careful to choose the correct footprint which I made a mistake when I designed the PCB I could manage to fix that but my PCB is not okay and that's a mistake that you we should do to learn for for the fans part it's just a MOSFET and a potentiometer so you control how much the fan should uh, the speed of the fan it's not automatically uh, controlled 
you can do your uh, change to make that automatic and the flash memory is used for uh, saving the configuration you make for the PID controller the constants you need to figure out how much you should use how much they should be and this is something that you have to try it and by try and error or make your calculation to to figure out how much those constants should be depending on the size of your uh, case for the incubator uh, those uh, constants might change and I had in the beginning a little bit problem because my box wasn't isolated correctly so you need to isolate the, the box also so you don't lose the, the heat in the system do and I think the circuit is simple the one thing that it's important to understand why you need to step up the 12 volts to 24 the MOSFET needs to get a VGS a difference as 12 volts by getting that I put a 24 volts on the gate so the 12 volt on the drain to source when it's on the 12 will come to the uh, pin 3 and pin 3 since it's the S looking at the gate you have 24 so difference between the VG or the VGS voltage will be at that time 12 if you look at the data sheet you will see that at 12 uh, volt the the MOSFET is running in the lowest uh, RDS on which is what we need otherwise you will get a very hot MOSFET at the end it will burn so without having a 12 volt difference between the the source and the gate you, you will not be able to, to get max uh, current on the heater so maybe you, you, you can do another uh, solution for replacing the MT3608 which is the step, step up uh, regulator by maybe making a vibrator and uh, maybe a voltage doubler but that's also a problem that you have to you have to calculate exactly how much how many states you need to get at 24 volts or double exactly double of the 12 volts in the input voltage so I, I didn't like the idea to to use all those components the, the MT36 is cheap, the 708 is, is cheap, but you can get it uh, and place it there. And I made a footprint for that by just taking the measurement of the module and you can mount it to, to your PCB uh, easily. And the heating elements, I used several uh, tourings actually that that idea is I found it on the uh, on another design of incubator so using the resistor as uh, in parallel many of them it's cheap and uh, easy way to make them I, I, I think it's, it's safe to, to use it but the heating will not be so much so that's why you you need to uh, calculate your PID constants according to your heater and the space of your box for the incubator and the fan it's important that you you get a, a good fan because uh, circulating the, the, the air is essential for for getting the heating distributed 
on the x you have and this incubator is is not taking in consideration the a way to give uh, humidity to the incubator I used to use some water and some uh, you put it inside the incubator and get it get its work and I had uh, some sensor that was me measuring some sensor that were measuring the uh, humidity but it would be better that if you can improve this uh, circuit and uh, make your uh, make a way to measure the humidity and take it to the Arduino the whole circuit and uh, design the PCB design and the code of the Arduino will be uploaded at my github at some stage and I will be explaining a little bit the, the code how but you you can look at the code by yourself later I hope this project will help you to make your own incubator it's cheap and easy to do it's not so difficult to understand the circuit so any question you are welcome to send it or write down in the comments I will try to answer them accordingly.